auto industry. Well, as we said, the U.S. auto industry and the federal government have long been at odds. But right now, a $4 billion proposal has the auto industry and technology companies trying to move forward with aut autonomous vehicles. And the government is acting as a willing referee. So what does all this mean? For answers, we turn to our business editor, Rod Maloney. He joins us live from the Kobo show floor where they made that announcement today. Rod? Yeah, you know, Carmen, this is truly, genuinely game-changing stuff. I mean, the government doesn't turn in a dime on anything, and yet they want to do this in six months. Essentially, they want to make it so you can take your hands off the wheel like this Mercedes E-Class that they just unveiled at this year's show. U.S. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox jetted to Detroit and stood with global auto executives and suppliers to announce today's new effort, which is going to ramp up over the next six months. It's a bold new world, and we have to recognize it, and we have to adjust to it. Um, but I think that's what the next six months are really about, is, is trying to do as much learning as we can and, uh, and embed that learning in what we stand up as guidance. This is the recognition autonomous cars are no longer a pipe dream, that reducing vehicle deaths and injuries on a massive scale is more real than anybody might realize. But getting quick adoption through states is impossible. So believe it or not, they turned to the feds and asked them to serve as referee and rule writer. GM's product chief, Mark Royce, applauds the secretary's announcement. He would rather have us on the cutting edge of technology um, coming up with the ideas on how to do this and then sitting down across the industry and with, uh, with the regulator and the government to say this is what we think is the safest, best way to do this. Leading the way in this whole area is Google, of course, and Google's car chief, John Krafsik, says it's really very simple. A good road has a clear path and guardrails, right? And I think that's what we heard from the secre secretary today. It was a plan um, to help guide autonomous vehicles down a clear road um, with clear guardrails to help us all. Now, how big a game changer is this? One of the things it does is it changes driving liability from you, the driver, to believe it or not, the car company. And that's a problem because people like to sue in this country and that could slow down the progress. And that's part of the reason why the government wants to get involved so it can write the rules and get out ahead of this as this technology gets closer and closer. They're saying this could really happen as early as this year. Back to you. Now, Rod, this is a budget proposal, which means that Congress will get involved. Does that mean trouble? Well, you know, they're saying they have bipartisan support, but we know what that means in Washington, D.C., so we'll have to see, again, because it's a budget, whether that really can happen. All right, and we'll certainly stay on top of it. Our Rod Maloney reporting live from the auto show.